Hello there! Once again, we are here with another example of calculating your conversion factors using your dimensional analysis. Okay, so for this example, we have 1.00 square kilometers and we need to convert that into the corresponding amount in square yards. So we go immediately to what is given, which is 1.00 square kilometers and we need to have the value in square yards. So as you can see, again, we now have two blanks, meaning we need at least two equivalent statements for us to solve this problem. And these equivalent statements are one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters and one meter is equal to 1.09361 yards. Okay, so we now convert this equivalent statements into conversion factors and place them here properly so that we're able to cancel the units that need to be cancelled and be left with only the desired units. So we have here square kilometers, so obviously we need this one here, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Convert that into the conversion factor. Okay, so we now have written this equivalent statement here into the corresponding conversion factor. But look at the units. We have your square kilometers, we only have here only in kilometers. So as what we have did before, we have to square the whole conversion factor as well. So we do that, and here we now have squared your conversion factor. So this is now in square kilometers and in square meters. But remember, not only the units are being squared, but also your values. So we then cancel the units. Cancel this out and cancel this here. So we're now only left with the unit square meters. So we need now the next equivalent statement and transform it into the corresponding conversion factor. And we have written it here, 1 meter is equal to 1.09361 yards. But again, as what we have did earlier, we need to square the whole conversion factor so that we'll be able to cancel the unit in square meters. So we do that. Alright, so we now have squared your conversion factor so that we're able to cancel the units. Our square meters here and we are now left with our unit this our unit which is in square yards then we do all the calculation that will give us that will give us again 1195982.832 square yards so that is 1195982.832 square yards now obviously this are a lot of numbers and we started with only 3 significant figures. We need to report this in a proper number of significant figures. So we need to move our decimal places here until this point and we only need to report three significant figures. Now look at our third point here. That's nine. The next number is five. So we have to do some rounding off. So obviously since our number next to five is nine, we need to add one more to our digit. So our final answer will be 1.20 times 10 raised to the power positive uh, sorry, that's not 2. So again, that's 1.20 times 10 to the power of positive 6. So since we have moved the decimal place into 6 places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 to the left. So that is now our final answer. 1.20 times 10 to the power of positive 6 square yards. And that is the amount in square yards equivalent to 1.00 square kilometers. So that's all for this. And remember... Continue learning.